really bad i haven't been up there in a while um my uh, oldest son was over and he was like i think it's mold on the walls around the bathroom so my husband got one of these he said that it's supposed to help with mold i also seen uh somebody on tiktok using like a peroxide or something to get it off but it, um i just wanted to show you what all it came with it came with a lot of stuff i think he said he paid 30 for it or something i'm not sure but it came with, I don't know really what this is, but we have this, we got like a, a tart scrubber, a soft buffer, um, it's like a, a, a terry cloth, and we got brushes and all kind of stuff, y'all, so anyway and this is what it is and so um it's we we charging it right now so i'm gonna put it back on the charger came with the charger and it's called electric spin scrubber y'all know i'm late y'all probably got one already but anyway you just plug it in and let it charge and just so y'all can see the box it is actually a seven and one and i guess you can adjust it to be handheld all the way up to an extension and yeah that's it oh yeah gotta know when i let go gotta know in a spot cause I don't really like what I got so I change shit bit by bit it's not ungrateful just being helpful for me and you cause we gotta go our own way gotta gotta go our own way yeah. this was not a good stay gotta gotta go our own way cause I do what I do
so this is the bench that I got across the street they had it sitting outside for the longest and fortunately the city never picked it up like they usually do when you put stuff on this on the side and it's crazy because I be, have been looking at it like hmm could I put that on my porch hmm it seemed like I could use that so I went to this Knoxville Garden Sea place and they had a bench it wasn't this tall but it was a little you know a lot shorter and they it, you can use it as um, a, a garden bed so basically the it was inside of the seating and I thought it was so cute and they were so kind of expensive to, for me and so I want to move these three pieces of wood and I don't know if you can tell but right here is a piece of wood that's um, embedded on the bottom. And I want to put the other three on the bottom so I can have, um, you know, a resting point when I put, uh, I don't know what I'm going to put if I'm going to find some buckets or a box that maybe can fit this size so I can put my garden in there. However, because the wood is old and dry rotted it's i can't get the wood up i try using um a hammer so i thought this would be a great diy and like i was telling my husband although the wood is not as strong it's still a good starting point and if anything you know really tears up all i have to do is just replace the wood then there's nothing to take my baskets out and just refurbish the wood because the baskets are literally just going to be sitting inside of this this is just really a decor of the garden well, my husband says that i can use one of his blades and cut this well this is what i told him i can do and he told me he had a blade in the basement i had the idea of cutting this and just cut this where it meets at the wood at the bottom and just grab that off so then i could just sit my baskets in there okay so now this over here that i made my husband get from my church <laughs> that he says was going to be end up being garbage that he has to try to get rid of later because i'm not going to use it i don't know y'all he might be right oh okay that don't look so hard to use i thought you was giving me that big old blade okay i think i could work with that it don't look too Think. Like, is it gonna be strong enough? But hopefully, it works. I don't appreciate the chase. Now there's nothing here for me. I gotta go, I fly away to a new space. Watching my page, say they miss what I gave them. I'm doing fine now. I feel amazing. I'm out of their range. Keep them guessing when they ask about us. Don't give them no time. That's how we stay. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to show y'all everything that I had got from the Dollar Tree. 
and um i just left walmart because i actually got my seeds from walmart and i only had seven packs and i spent almost 14 dollars and i was able to get all of these from the dollar tree because they were just four four dollars so I ended up just getting all the seeds that I want, whereas before I only got the ones that I could plant now because of course you know you can't, it's a different, it's a month, you know the time span for each one is different. So I was just, I just grabbed a whole bunch of them since they were four for a dollar. I was actually amazed at all the stuff that the Dollar Tree had for a garden. Um, I had got these little cups because I'm going to start out and they have the little holes at the bottom. It's a 12 pack. Cause I'm gonna start out with them in a small cup and then transfer them into the bench that I'm DIYing. And I bought some buckets. I'm gonna show y'all those in a minute. But anyway, they also had these at the Dollar Tree. They were great. So what I did was I placed three of these under here to see how many would fit. Well, I placed some of these under here to see how many would fit and three could fit so I could cover them. And then it has the little turning thing. This is great if you wanted to start it indoors, actually. But the, to start it indoors, the lighting was so expensive. So that's why I'm so glad I came up with my outdoor plan. Because although I was going to start indoor, I still would have to transfer them outdoor. But I, I would have had some weeks before the transfer to try to do my setup. But instead, I got my little setup together. So I'm just going to keep it outside. Um, I got two of these from the Dollar Tree. I just bought this thermometer. I don't know why I needed it. I probably don't need it, but I just bought that. They had some gloves. Um, I didn't know if I was going to need this needle. It's called a needle pruner. But I guess it's just like some garden scissors. They also had this, which was great because I'm not sure if we have one for our water hose. Um, I had bought these because I I was um, I didn't really know how my setup was going to be for outside. So I had bought these for the setup and I still was a little bit indecisive on how this was going to work out. So anyway, and they also had this at the Dollar Tree where you can kneel on your knees. I'm like, that is so perfect. So I had to get that. Yeah, I just, I just really want to start with my raised garden and so I can just take my time and just start with a few vegetables at a time. What I did get out of Target is this right here. It actually fits good in my bench. I got two of them. So anyway, so then after I start this, y'all, that's when I'm gonna later try to do the in-ground one. I have bought these because I didn't know if we had a shovel. We do have a shovel. Like, I don't really know what we have for us outdoor stuff because I don't do anything outdoors. And I bought this little rake. It was just a dollar twenty-five from the Dollar Tree and it came with the little stick back there where the, the stick was so simple of course then i bought the little handheld scoop and i just cannot wait to start like i'm just so shocked that i have really like went this far with it because sometimes i say stuff and it's just like not that deep so i say it and i may want to do it but i don't you know what i mean i don't just i don't start it um, it has to be something that I'm really intrigued with or, you know, just really desire to do for me to just be like, hey, and just start doing it. So I need to finish that. It's so hot. I want to wait a little while before I go back out there because I'm about to burn up. But anyway, all I need to do is just screw in the bottom of wood and spray paint. And I'm done. I'm sticking my little buckets in it. And I'm going to start my, my, I'm sorry, plant.